Iran resistance supporters sentenced to between 8 and 18 years imprisonment and exile. The head of the regime's judiciary in Kokkilia and Boya Ahmad province, the criminal Mullah Nazari, announced that six defendants affiliated with the MEK were sentenced to imprisonment and exile from between 8 to 18 years on the charge of writing slogans, blasphemy against the Supreme Leader, and burning propaganda banners with the images of national and religious figures. According to him, the enemies of the state used to take photos and videos of the sabotage acts and send them to their leaders after committing the crime. Mazari said, in a ridiculous and hollow gesture, the judiciary and the General Bureau of Intelligence of the province managed to have access to the photos and videos sent by this opponent group and arrested them in a surprise operation through monitoring, spreading intelligence umbrella and the application of technical techniques. Addiction age has plunged to under 15 for Iranian women and girls. Addiction has been spreading at an alarming rate among Iranian women and girls, compelling the regime's officials and experts to acknowledge it. Akram Mosaravi Manesh has asserted that the average addiction age has dropped to under 15 years of age among Iranian women and girls. The Executive Director of Women's Studies and Research made the remarks on October 16th on the addiction of Iranian women and girls. She said, addiction age has dropped to the 15 to 18 range and even under 15. Mosavari Manesh added, the worst social harm in Iran is addiction, which also includes women and girls. The disaster has even entered schools. Prisoner executed in eastern Iran. Ayub Jahanda, 28, was executed at Ferdows Prison in the early hours of October 14th. Ferdows Prison is in the city of Ferdows in South Khorasan province. Fewer than 300 people are held in this small prison, and reports of executions here have been rare in recent years. According to Amnesty International's annual report, Iran ranks first in the world's executions per capita. Accused of posing security risk, Iranian actress banned from limelight. After being interrogated twice by her social media publications, Iranian actress Paras Salahi says that Iranian security forces are barring her from making public appearances. Salahi said that she was first interrogated on August 19th when she was summoned by the Iranian Judiciary Surveillance Unit to explain her public commentary on Iran's social and economic setbacks. In a video she recently published online, Salahi said she was called again on October 2nd to the Ministry of Intelligence. She said, The public wasn't to have knowledge of this meeting, but now I am being told again and again that I can't appear in public for security reasons. Salahi reported that she was being censured for using her public Instagram profile to decry issues such as embezzlement, the drop in the value of the Iranian currency, political detainees, rape, child abuse and the Caspian Sea Agreement, a highly contentious diplomatic agreement that was recently finalised. 